you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got some brand new content. It is Wednesday, September 18th, which means a few things. Tomorrow, we got the Series 2 update. Stay tuned for that video later. I will be dropping a what to expect, how to prepare, and what to do right now before Series 2 does drop. So turn on the noti belt. Stay tuned for that, boys. And also, we, today we got the brand new heavyweights. And typically, like I always say, I don't care for flashbacks. I don't care for veterans. But I do care for heavyweights. Because heavyweights fill positions that typically most people don't really like buying. And heavyweights makes them affordable. So typically, let's say a guy like Larry Allen, right? Gonna be expensive because he's a legend. Heavyweights will drop another right guard that's similarly, similarly, similarly. You guys get the point. Good to Larry Allen, but it'll be a lot less expensive because heavyweights come out very high frequency in packs. It's literally just go open a pack, a heavyweight pack, and you get them. And they also come out of regular packs. So heavyweights, flashbacks, and veterans are always discounted at their position overall value because they are cards that come out of packs very easily. So in that case, I love heavyweights because I hate buying defensive tackles. I hate buying linemen. I hate buying fullbacks. But this promo, the heavyweight promo, allows me to get all those players for a much discounted price, which is why my right tackle, my left tackle are heavyweights. My fullback used to be a heavyweight. My defensive tackles at one point were heavyweights. I really like abusing the heavyweights for those positions. Obviously that's what they are, so the only thing you really could do with them. But I honestly typically like the heavyweights per week. I'm not a fan of the ends. I typically like getting more athletic stud ends. The heavyweight promo doesn't usually produce athletic ends. It's more like big beefy guys, which is good for defensive tackles, fullbacks, and linemen, but not for ends. But today's drop was pretty, pretty good. Uh, what I picked them up, it all depends on their stats. We're gonna have to check them out when they do actually drop into the game. I will go check out their stats and review them. But one of them in particular, to me, seems pretty good. Would he replace my starting guy on my team? I'm not entirely sure, guys. But before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy the daily content, tips, gameplays, hacks, whatever I do on this channel, I do it all. If you enjoy it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. We're grinding to 9K now. We hit the 8K milestone. Hopefully, we hit 10K in about a month or so and i'd greatly appreciate all that guys and then we just keep grinding until madden 21 i know it sounds like too early to say that but you guys get the point let's get this video to 100 likes and now boys for the new heavyweights so the new heavyweights that i believe that i've seen from twitter are quinton nelson and d ford now quinton nelson is an awesome awesome left oh uh, is he gonna be a left guard I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure he was a left guard last year, but I don't know why I thought I saw a right guard, but I'm pretty sure he's a left guard. He'd be an awesome left guard option, though. I really like Quentin Nelson in real life and in the game. Last year, he was an awesome team of the year card. And I believe the other one is D Ford. Now, both guys would be pretty awesome, but like I was saying before, when it comes to right ends or left ends, whatever he's going to be playing, I don't typically like them to be on the slower side. I like them to be athletic heavy, uh, athletic ends and more gate playmakers, and heavyweights typically just don't produce those type of players. But again, once they are out and they're in the game, which is what I'll skip to right after this little intro that I've been doing, you guys will be able to see all of them. But in my personal opinion, Quentin Nelson could be very usable. D4, maybe not so much. But this is the only thing that I'm typically excited for during the week when it comes to flashbacks, veterans, and heavyweights. Just the heavyweights are what's exciting you guys. But now let's go over to the block and see if these have been posted yet. All right, guys, so we're back at the main menu. It is now 1030 Eastern time, which means that's when content typically drops, except for when EA is late, which is more than normally the norm now. Now they, they typically late on this stuff, but heavyweights at least are not too late on because it is one of the packs in the store, so you know I'll always be there. But let's head back in. But before we go check them out, because I know they won't be up on the block at this exact minute, let's go over to the store. Let's see if they updated prices on these yet. I don't know, maybe with Series 2, we'll get the updated heavyweight prices. I can't imagine it stays at this price for too long, because with the heavyweights getting better, the pack's going to become very profitable soon. Now, I don't know what today's overalls will be. I believe we've been getting 88, so maybe we might get an 89 today. I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't know what the trend is yet. I don't know if it's like 386, 87s, and 388s, 80 whatever, and then 89s. I'm not sure how they're doing this yet, but again, if they start dropping 89s pretty soon, which they might actually wait till Series 2 and then drop 89s and the price of this pack will up. Because remember, if they start dropping 89s and 88s, and then you can only, the only bad pull in this really is an 86, it's going to be highly profitable. It's going to be the, one of the best reroll sets in the game if these prices stay. So my, my assumption is today will probably be an 88 because they haven't updated the prices yet. And then Series 2 will probably get the pack cost in like 2200 And then they'll drop 89s. Because if you think about it, if an 87 pretty much makes you your training back, an 88 gives you like an extra 500 training or even more, maybe almost like six 700. I'm not entirely sure. 
88 quick sells for 2400 so yeah an 87 makes you uh, makes you a little bit back or if not gives you right back what you got an 88 gives you quite a bit more and an 89 will give you a big thing of profit so if they drop 89s in this pack and we're allowed to re-roll it trust me this will be one of the best reroll sets in the game but we have to wait until they actually drop 89 so we don't know when they'll actually happen but hopefully it's today if it's today expect the re-roll video but i don't think it will be today because if it was today they would lose too much and we all know ea is not about losing money and uh killing their own game a little bit not that it'd kill it for us but for them they'll be upset they're giving us free coins and free training and people some people last year on reroll sets like this made like millions of coins worth of training like i've seen people like like gut fox we made these videos there were people making like a million training it was crazy how much we can get from these rerolls. a hundred thousand training you guys have to point them out a little bit of an exaggeration but you understand where i'm coming from so let's head over to the 88s now let's go check it out let's see if they're in the game yet let's go i believe it is like i said d ford and quentin nelson so that's what we're gonna be on the lookout for these typically take a while to come on the block which is kind of annoying the reason for that being is that how many people wake up on wednesdays and they're like yeah i'm gonna go open heavyweight packs this morning and get cards that go for less than what i spent for them like it just doesn't make sense like literally if you pull anything like right now at least prices are up a little bit but when the heavyweights first came out like even i pulled the best heavyweight and lost coins like you know how bad that is i think i pulled joey bosa on the first heavyweight drop and i lost coins like you know like i it went for like 95k at the time obviously it's come up since but you either lose or broke even when you first started when you first pulled the best cards unless you pulled them the exact minute they came out i obviously didn't get them towards the end of the video at that point they were already dead in price but again yeah heavyweights isn't something you wake up excited for i mean they're cool but that is why they typically take a while to get put on the block i might have to go skip some of this out and go wait for them to be up so i don't waste any more of your time but let's see what the trend is let's see there was let's see 288s 288s that's already two weeks of 88 drops and we got another one right here we got like let's see one two three four five i believe we have like five or six 88 drops so that should be three weeks worth of 88 so if i stand corrected today should be an 89 by that it shouldn't be another 88 but i could be wrong guys let's sit here waiting and i'll come back to the screen when they're finally up all right guys so we do got the first card up it is 88 overall left and d4 for 143k that's pretty low considering he just came out as the first one on the block so i can only imagine that these cards will not be going for too much right off the bat so let's see he's got salary cap hit of 32 d4 49ers I actually forgot he went to the 49ers. I thought he was still in the Chiefs for some reason. Like, I knew he moved, but I forgot what team he moved to. So, he actually has an 81 speed. So, I take back what I said before. They actually did give him some athleticism, which actually isn't that bad. 82 excel, 80 strength, 80 tackle, 84 play rec, 88 finesse, 82 power, power moves, and 64 block shedding. So, this reminds me a lot of a Joey Bosa card. High finesse, decent speed, bad block shed. So, for me, with the way the run game is this year, I don't think I could afford to have a 64 block shed on my team because although he could get to the quarterback most left ends and red ends can the big difference is typically their block shed being with how the run game is this year with stretches you need that end on inside zones on stretches on counters you need that end to really shed off that guy because that's such a disruption right if they hold the block that's the difference between an 80 yard touchdown or a block shed where you kick the running back back inside or outside and it kills the whole play it could literally it's the difference between breaking long touchdowns and not that alone would probably be a no for me but let's compare him to demarcus lawrence demarcus lawrence beats him in every snap aside speed he's got better finesse move better power move way better block shed way better play rec better tackle better strength better excel slightly worse speed but that speed i'll gladly take for the cost of all these extra stats and not to mention we do get all these abilities with demarcus lawrence who comes with unstoppable force reach elite finesse specialist and edge threat so if you have a guy like demarcus lawrence do not trade him over Joey Bosa. Obviously, there's probably some other left ends that are comparable, and that would be good to replace with D Ford. But in my personal opinion, I don't think D Ford is the move. Let's see what his hit power is and his underlying stats: 83 agility, 84 awareness. Let's see what else he's got: 81 jumping. I don't know if jumping really matters on them anymore. Not many people do that whole QB spot pick thing at the line. Doesn't really work anymore. 83 pursuit, which isn't really that bad. And a decent zone coverage at like a 60, 75 hit power. A little bit low, but then again. DeMarcus Lawrence only has a 79. Not many ends really have that crazy hit power. Some do. What's their impact block? I don't really know how impact block really affects these guys, but I imagine when they get blocked, it kind of helps with blowing those things up. I did not tell. 76. He's got an 81 set. Obviously, he's a little bit better there. Now, let's go check out if there's a Quentin Nelson available. I oh, there we go. Quentin Nelson. This is the guy I'm more interested in. So, Quentin Nelson got a 92 strength. That's a really high strength. 82 awareness. He's 6 foot 5. 82 pass block, 84 pass block power, 81 pass block finesse, 84 run block, 86 run block power, and 83 run block finesse. Is it just me, or is it weird that an 88 overall left guard 
has not once has one single stat above an 85. Not counting strength, obviously. Strength is what it is, but like blocking stats, he has one above an 85. Let's see what his underlying stats are. So his speed's a 60. His excel's a 73, not horrible. Let's see what his impact blocking is. 90 impact block, so that is really big on pulling. But with his run block being so low, I don't know how effective everything would be. Let's see what his lead block is, 87. So impact and lead block are pretty, pretty good. I would prefer it to have seen a 90, but again, Bruce Matthews at a 90 overall. Strength is slightly worse, but he has way better awareness, way better pass block, way, way better pass block power, way better pass block footwork. Way better run blocking, tied run block power, and way better run block finesse. And if you came up Bruce Matthews and you came up Quentin Nelson, Bruce Matthews will hit most pass blocking thresholds and even most run blocking thresholds, while Quentin Nelson will not hit a single threshold no matter how much you power him up. Now, as compared to lead blocks, 88 lead blocks, so he's better there already. Wow, Bruce Matthews really blows him away. Obviously, he's a 90 overall, but again, it, it, this is for me as far as my team, and is it worth switching them up? Did I miss impact blocking again? I feel like I always miss that. Where's impact? 88 and 90. Okay, so the only thing he really beats him is impact blocking and strength. But other than that, this car completely kills the other one. So in my opinion, a little underwhelming today. Would I recommend picking up either of these guys? No. D Ford isn't horrible if you have like a Joey Bosa and you want to replace him. But if you have like a DeMarcus Lawrence or anything better, probably not the move. Guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, Make sure to give it a thumbs up. I know it's a content video, but let's get this video to 100 likes. Make sure to turn that noti bell to get notified when I post the market talk for later and I post the series to what to do before tomorrow. And turn on that. Oh, I already said turn on the noti bell. I mean, subscribe to the channel, boys. We're grinding to 9K. Thank you so much for all the support as of late. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.